Excuse my face cam in some of these clips. Today I'm going to be showing you guys where you can get all of these clockwork Castilian Salazar dolls. So the first one is in the lakeside settlement right up here. The second one's pretty easy. When you end up finding this piece of paper in this shed that tells you about finding all of them, just turn around and it's right there. Eventually when you end up finding the merchant hidden by the lake, Climb down the ladder and go around this corner and you'll see the doll hidden up here. Once you have access to the boat, you're going to return to the lakeside settlement, which coincidentally is where the first doll was located. And now you have the insignia key so you can use that on the doorway to get through a cave and a little crawl hole to end up in this place and this is where you'll end up finding the next doll. Skipping a little further ahead, once you've saved Ashley, you're going to take her to the village square and go to the village chief's house. Going all the way up into the attic with her help, you'll find the doll up here. In the fortified quarry, look for a bonfire on your right and you're going to end up noticing it right here. So after your encounter with a sort of mini boss in the dungeon, you'll end up climbing up the ladder and find one of the dolls up here. When this big giant dude is throwing rocks at you while you're on the castle rooftop, you're going to fight your way to the ladder on the opposite tower to your right and climb up and go all the way around to find the doll here. Eventually, when you end up in the hedge maze, you'll be able to find this room off the beaten path, which is going to have the doll right here. And a little further along, you're going to be in the sewers. Just across from the merchant's door, there's a doll hidden right in here. After your first minecart sequence, in this house right here, after you fight a bunch of enemies, there's going to be a doll up here. When you enter the clock tower, look under the stairs to the left and you'll see the doll right here. So once you end up getting to the army base and fighting a bunch of dudes down here, you'll notice over by these trucks that the doll is squeezed between them. So after you have your encounter with Sadler, you're going to end up in this camp area where there's a bunch of tents and you're going to end up finding a doll here on top of the lockers. Eventually, after you fight the regenerator in the body bag outside of the specimen storage, there will be this side room with a doll on the rafters. Now, the final doll is actually the hardest one because it's the only doll that you can't actually hear. All of the other ones that I mentioned in this video, I just found organically. But during the end game chase sequence where you have a limited amount of time to get out of the place before it explodes, it's all really, really loud. So it can be very difficult to miss this doll right here. So by unlocking all of the dolls, you can go to the extra content shop and you're gonna have to purchase the primal knife, which is a knife with unlimited durability that you'll then be able to purchase from the merchant in game. 